Hi, my name is Guy Blakesley, and we're here at my studio in Los Angeles, California for DLF TV. And I'm going to be talking about uh, meditation and creativity. The first form of meditation that I really experienced was playing music. Um, when I was teaching myself to play the guitar, I would play just for hours at a time and not really think about anything else but what I was doing and eventually kind of go into a sort of trance or hypnotic state and just be playing guitar and that was all I was doing and then I wasn't thinking about doing it anymore I was just doing it and kind of just in that what, what I later understood to be a meditative space but it was kind of that was why I was playing was to when I was really young, it was to escape or to, to go somewhere else, to travel in my mind or in my spirit. And, um, you know, I've been, I've been playing music for like 20 years or something like that, maybe longer. And uh, more recently, I've started to realize that I can get into that kind of state and then make music or art from that state, which is really cool. But um, I kind of discovered that there's like a place, like an inner door that you can open I kind of discovered that through playing music and specifically through isolating myself, kind of like checking out from normal reality through music. And uh, through meditation now I'm able to kind of have a discipline or an organization to that where I can set out to do that, but that's something that I discovered through kind of intuitively or accidentally through making music. I guess at some point when I discovered and started practicing meditation on top of that, it's definitely given, given that uh, quality of the art and writing and music that I make more, more uh, directed meditative quality as opposed to sort of randomly getting to that place every, every now and then after long periods of like kind of spacing out. And sometimes it can be like dreaming while awake, like you see things bubbling out of your subconscious and you're able to tap into them and remember them or work with them and but you're awake so you can like go write it down or like turn it into something. So this is one of my many collages that I'm holding up right now and uh, yeah, making collages for me is a kind of meditation because um, while I'm doing it, I, I kind of, you know, kind of go beyond my rational mind a little bit, and I, you know, I, I spend a lot of time gathering the images and removing them from source material, kind of intuitively finding things that I like, people or colors or textures that I like, and then a whole other part of the process is putting those things back together into, you know, a juxtaposed kind of dreamlike reality. There's not so much of a difference between the place that you can go to in deep meditation or a place that you go to in a dream. You know, there's like a waking dream state that's kind of like somewhere between those two. And you know, one of the things that I've learned from experiencing all those different shades of reality like that is that it's all connected. You know? It's all, there may be different dimensions to it or different angles that you're looking at it from, but it's all sort of part of the same unbroken whole. And then within that, there's all different, you know, levels of it or Below, of it. Well, like the self, when you start, let's say you sit down to start meditating and the self is like really active. You've been like yourself all day and you close your eyes and start to breathe and then that's just the self-talk is going on like, Oh, I forgot to do this. Oh, I need to remember to do that. Oh, and like, I'm this person. Oh, I forgot to call that person back. And oh, what about this? What time is it? All that kind of stuff is like really active. And that's, that's a big part of the self. And then, you know, just through watching that and getting quieter and calming down, that can, you know, that can even become more active or that can start to like simmer down a little bit. Um, but, but the place where like sort of the unconscious or subconscious realm that's always happening just below that, which is where dreams are happening too. Um, 
You know, that's also the self, but that's kind of like the deeper or the higher self, I guess. And that's also, at least in my opinion or my experience, that's tapped into or connected to things that are beyond the self. So like, the way that someone could have a dream and then someone else could have the same dream or someone else, you know, you could have like a psychic kind of connection with someone or there's definitely like a, a field of consciousness that everything is a part of and it's in, it's in all of us and it's, you know, the way that we live in this world is by being an ego or being a self and that's like actually necessary and not something just to be destroyed. Like some people would say meditate in order to destroy the self or like get rid of the ego. But I think that by getting a little glimpse of what's beyond that and then coming back to it, you can you know, have a more balanced perspective. And definitely like the unconscious of an individual is, is a part of the collective unconscious. So like the, the realm that you can tap into through meditation where there's just like images and ideas coming up from, it seems like they're coming from somewhere other than the, the self. Sometimes you have to just keep going and not judge what you're creating for long enough that something unexpected will happen. I guess the, the goal of, of, of my meditation practice and also of you know, exploration through art and music and writing and all those kinds of activities is to is to go to those places and then bring bring something back you know like it's not to just disappear forever into the bliss of the eternal cosmic oneness or whatever you would call it but it is to visit that place and bring that back into the surface world and you know through through art and music to be able to share that with others and then when you hear something or read something or see something like that, you get a little feeling of that and that's really powerful.